Science Concepts with Mr. P. For more science concepts, search me out on iTunes by typing Papa Podcasts. You can contact me at MRP Lieberman, all one word, at gmail.com for additional assistance. 0.038 kilograms, two significant digits. Only the three and the eight are represent uh, significant digits. Zeros to the left of other digits are not significant. Okay? So remember, if we start off with zeros, we can have a whole bunch of zeros at the start. 0. 0.0000098. Only this 98 are considered significant digits. All these zeros just are there to represent size. So if the zeros are only there to represent size of a number, they are not considered significant. Okay. So let's do a couple of practice questions. So here's a perfect moment. Take a moment, look at these questions. Okay, pause the podcast and try to see if you, using the rules that we've just learned, can figure out how to calculate how many significant digits we have. So pause your podcast right now. Okay, so hopefully you've uh, been able to complete these correctly. Let's look at the first example, 307.0 centimeters. There are several types of zeros here, okay? One of the zeros is between two digits, okay? So we know that that's significant. But now, do I need this zero? If I do that to that zero, do I still have the same value? Yes, I do. And because I have the same value, why did I put that zero? I put it because I am making it significant. So my answer would be four significant digits. I want to count that zero. So I'm gonna put that zero after the decimal to consider it significant okay next example 61 meters per second real simple two significant digits the six and the one next example 0 0.03 meters okay we have zeros that are at the start but they represent the size if i take away these zeros i don't have the same value i have an answer of three but it's not just that I need these, I don't need these, I only need these zeros to show me the size of the number. So these are there, they are, they're important to be there, but they're important in terms of size, okay? So as this example, I don't need this zero. I still have the same value. Do I need these zeros? Yes, I do. So that's why these are not considered significant. So think about the reverse. Do I need the zeros? If I need them to show me the value of the number, they're not significant. If I don't need them, they're significant. Okay. So in this example here, 0 0.03, we only have one significant digit, and that is that number three. So air, all these zeros here in front are not considered significant. They're there to show me value. Next example, 0 0.5060. Let's think about it. Do I need this zero? Yes, I do. So, but it's found between two non-zero numbers. Now the question is, do I need this zero here? No, I don't. I still maintain the same value. 0 .0, 0 0.506, even if I put in that zero into my calculator, odds are most calculators will remove that last zero. We don't need it there. But us putting it there makes it significant. So in other words, how many significant digits is this answer half? four significant digits. We count this because it, it's in between the five and the six. We count this because, well, we don't really need it, but we put it there because we want to create more significant digits. Okay. Next example scientific uh, is in scientific notation. Uh, it's a very strategic rule um, use uh, of a number to write a number, to make bigger numbers not look so complicated to read. So what we do is we create a um, scientific notation number and this also allows you to make the correct number of significant digits when you need it, if some numbers don't allow you to make them that easily. So here in this example, this times 10 to the power of zero 
represent following zeros after the number. Okay, so we don't care about this part in terms of significant digits. We are only going to look at this value here, 3.00, and we don't need these zeros. The value is still 3 times 10 to the power of 8, but because we, we, we wrote them down, okay, because we still wrote down these values, we are making these significant. So in other words, we have three significant digits. This three is significant because it's, it's a number. It's, an any, it's any digit. But then we don't need this point zero, zero. So I put it there, why? Because I am making a significance out of these numbers. Okay, let's look at over here, 8.05 kilograms. Real simple, three significant digits. Next one, 7,541, real simple four significant digits. Next one, 25.0. Okay, here is that point zero part again. Do I need this? No, I don't. 25 or 25.0 is still the same, which means I am making this significant, this zero. Okay, so in other words, I have a total of three significant digits. Next example, 100. Here's the thing. If I take away these zeros, do I still have the same value? No, I don't. Those zeros are there for what? They're there to show me the size of the number. So I don't, I need them, but they're not significant. You know what I mean? So I need them, but they're not significant. Why? I need them to show me that this is a thousand. Okay? I don't need them. You know, I, I, I need them just to show me the value, okay, of the number. So we have only one significant digit. That one is the only one that is considered significant. And the last example, now, remember how we said all these zeros are not significant, but when zeros are found in between two non-zero numbers, we count those zeros, and we have a total of four significant digits. Okay. So, now, here is where the rules for calculating significant digits comes to play. Okay. And it'll be when we are adding uh, terms or when we are multiplying values.